Extend a warm welcome to Your Excellency and to the distinguished members of your delegation on your state visit to India. Your visit is another important step in further strengthening the time-tested friendship, solidarity and cooperation that have always characterized relations between India and Palestine. Excellencies, distinguished guests, India's commitment to Palestine was given voice by none less than Mahatma Gandhi in the days of India's own struggle for independence. As early as in 1936, Palestine Day to mark our solidarity was observed in India. In the early years of independent India, our policy and support for the Palestinian cause was consolidated under the leadership of our first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. We were the first country outside the Arab world to recognize the Palestinian, Palestine Liber, Liberation Organization under the stewardship of Srimuthi Indira Gandhi in 1975 as the sole and legitimate representative of the Palestinian people. In March 1980, we accorded recognition to the PLO office in New Delhi just two days prior to the first official visit of Chairman Yasser Arafat to India. Soon after that, India recognized the state of Palestine in 1988, after which we opened our representative office to the state of Palestine in 1996. Your Excellency, India has been consistent and preserving in its commitment to the Palestinian cause in the United Nations, in the non-aligned movement, and in other international fora. India has always supported the Palestinian people in pursuing their leg legitimate aspirations for a sovereign, independent, viable state. India wishes to see your realization of a state of Palestine with East Jerusalem as its capital, existing within secure and recognized borders, side by side, and in peace with Israel. Towards this end, India has underlined its support for the Arab Peace Initiative and the Quartet Roadmap. We have repeatedly called for the implementation of the relevant resolutions of United Nations Security Council and General Assembly. Your Excellency, I heartily commend the indefeatable spirit of the Palestinian people and take this opportunity to reaffirm India's principle and unwavering support to the just cause. We have always considered the conflict in West Asia to be political in nature, and therefore we believe that it cannot be resolved by force. Excellency, India fully supports your efforts to be a member of the United Nations. Our envoys and representatives have worked together to achieve the goal of Palestine's membership of UNESCO. Very recently, as a member of the Heritage Committee, India supported Palestine in having the Holy Church of Nativity in Bethlehem recognized as a World Heritage Site. India has been proud to assist the Palestinian people in their continuing endeavor towards nation building. We have seen with satisfaction the positive outcome of grants and resources shared by us over the decades in your developmental projects, creation of educational and training facilities, capacity building, and humanitarian relief. Excellency, I was also happy to learn that you have inaugurated the new Palestinian Embassy building in New Delhi earlier this evening. This is a proud moment in our diplomatic history, and your embassy will ever be a monument to the cooperation and enduring friendship 
between our two countries and our peoples. Your visit to India has yet again been purposeful and productive, an occasion to review our bilateral agenda, strengthen our cooperation for mutual benefit, and to renew our commitment to achieving our common goals in the years to come. With these words, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I request you to join me in raising a toast to the good health and success of His Excellency, President Mahmoud Abbas, President of the Palestinian National Authority, to the prosperity and progress of the state of Palestine and its friendly people, and to the abiding friendship and cooperation between India and Palestine. Thank you, Mr. President, for the noble and the generous reception that you honored us with since our arrival in this great city, New Delhi, which only reflects the authentic Indian hospitality and the depth of the relationship between our two peoples and two countries. At the beginning, Mr. President, allow me to offer you uh, our congratulations to you on your election as the President of India. I wish you success, health, and great achievements, hoping for India's continued adv uh, advancement in all domains of life. Today, I held very important talks with His Excellency Prime Minister Sain. That included an in-depth exchange of views on various bilateral and regional issues. I have briefed His Excellency on the state of affairs of the peace process and the latest developments in Palestine. Our people continue to suffer from the ongoing Israeli cooperation, occupation since 1967 that denies us our freedom and independence. Recently, we have witnessed an escalation of Israeli settlement activities that aim to change the demographic and geographic nature of Palestine, especially in and around occupied East Jerusalem. The exploitation of our natural sources and denial of our people for their potential economic development in all aspects. Mr. President, I would like to reiterate to you our sincere commitment to achieve peace and stability in the region in accordance with the vision of two-state solution on the basis of the 67 borders, which means the establishment of an independent democratic Palestine and East Jerusalem as its capital. In this occasion, I would like to express our deepest gratitude and sincere appreciation to India for its unwavering commitment and relentless efforts to promote, to promote the Palestinian cause at all international forums. I would like also to thank you for India's economic and technical assistance which included the training hundreds of Palestinians. Mr. President, allow me the honor of accepting my invitation to Your Excellency to visit Palestine at the time of your convenience. Once again, 
Thank you, and long live the friendship of our two peoples. So I call you to have a toast for the friendship of the Indian Palestinian people. <clears throat>